we here to learn? We are. I can identify the main idea and supporting details from what I read and create a summary using the supporting details. Okay, give yourself a pat on the back if you're ready. Okay, let's turn those papers over that you have on your desk. This is your opportunity to do a closed reading activity where you read that article. You can use your pencil to highlight any information that you think will help you in finding the main idea. We're going to be using the reading cards, the blue reading cards, so when you're done, simply turn it over so we'll know when we can move on. You may begin. Okay, stop. Thank you for all reading that passage on your own and marking key information that you found in the text. I will now read it to you. Feel free to also mark something if you don't feel you got it on your read. Feel free to mark it at this time. Water striders. Imagine yourself zooming across the top of a pond or lake without sinking in. While this might be hard for you to do, it is easy for a water strider. A water strider is a water bug that looks like a large mosquito. What makes it different from a mosquito, however, is the fact that it can walk across the water. You can find water striders on the surface of some ponds, marshes, and still water. Water striders do more than just walk across the water. They also catch and eat their meals on the water as well. Additionally, because they spend more of their time on the water, Water striders feed mostly on other insects that live near water. In fact, water striders only go inland when rain or strong winds force them off the water. The design of a water strider's body makes it easy for the insect to walk on the water. Its body is only one half inch long and it is covered with scales that keep it from getting heavy and sinking. Like all insects, the water strider has six legs. The front pair of legs is short, while the middle and back legs are very long. The longer legs can spread over a larger area of water and are useful for rowing and steering across the water. No one leg is heavy enough to sink the insect. Water striders also have very good vision and can move quickly. These traits help keep them from becoming prey or food for other insects. Okay, now it's time for us to work on some text-dependent questions. We are going to play bingo while we answer the questions today. You have some spiders that you're gonna use as your markers. Here's how the game will be played. Your entire group is one team. I will tell you what row or column we're working on at that time. Whenever I show you what row or column we're working on, your team is going to try to find the answers to those questions. They must be highlighted in the text, and you must be able to tell me where you found it with the paragraph and the sentence number. Here we go. The first thing we're going to work on is across the top. What, insects does a wa what insect does a water strider resemble? How would you describe the size of a water strider? What fact can you select to show the speed of a water strider? Go. Uh, the large mosquito. It looks like a large mosquito. Yeah, yeah. 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 Yeah.
Okay, I heard my first group. Water striders, I heard it. Okay, let's see if they've got it. Now they're going to help you out because remember when we respond, the first thing we do is tell the paragraph, then the sentence number, then we give our fact, but then we answer our question. And I'm going to type the answer up here. That way you'll make sure you've highlighted the correct section. Here we go. Which insect does a water strider resemble? Hudson, can you tell me where you found that answer? Paragraph 2, sentence 1. A water strider is a water bug that looks like a large mosquito. Okay, so he said paragraph 2, sentence 1. And what is your answer then? A large uh, mosquito. A large mosquito. He is correct. Looking good. Next one. How would you describe the size of a water strider? How would you describe the size? I'm still on this table because they were the first group. Um, Victor, can you answer that question for us? On paragraph four, the second sentence says, its body is only one half inch long. Ready? Looking good. Two out of three. Let's see if they can get the last one. What fact can you select to show the speed of a water strider? Dylan, it's your turn. Paragraph 5, sentence 1 says, Water striders also have very good vision and can move quickly. She got it. Ready? Looking good. Great job. Now we are moving to the center column. The next question is, since the title of the article is Water Striders, would you find a water strider on land? Next one. How would you summarize what sh sh water striders eat? Go. We says that we spend most of its time. It says we still have to do this one. No, we don't. No. She only said this column right now. But you'll need to highlight that answer to be able to put a spider there. You'd have to highlight that. Did you highlight it when we went over it? Us three did. Okay, make sure your whole group has that highlighted and you can put you a spider there. If not, in a minute, you won't be able to use it. Does everyone have it? Yeah, okay. Okay, now you can. Now go. That is they go inland when rain, strong wind, force them off the water. No, it says um, they do not go inland when they're time on water. Yeah. We think that you might, you possibly could find it. Impossibly. Okay, but remember we worked on opinions and our prior knowledge. We can't bring any of that to the text. So you have to be able to find it in that passage to highlight it. It says it spends most of the time. It doesn't say okay, but the question know. is, look, since the title of the article is Water Striders, would you find a water strider on land? No. I remember one of the paragraphs when something pushes it off. Okay, find that. You're getting there. Find it. She said, I remember, but now help her. Find it. She remembers it talked about it pushing it off. Off. Oh. I heard one right here. Let's give everyone another second or two to work on it a little bit further, but you are the group that I heard, okay? Okay, stop. Emily's group up here thinks they have the answers. Now remember, if your group didn't get to it, you need to listen to where you can find the information in the text and highlight it. If you highlight it, you can give yourself a spider because you need all the spiders you can get on there. Okay, Emily, here we go. It says, since the title of the article is Water Striders, where, would you find a water strider on land? No, it said, no, because it says in paragraph three on the last sentence, in fact, water striders only go inland when rain or strong winds force them off the water. That is the text she needed. Now, Emily, let me ask you that question. The question is, would you find a water strider on land? No, not usually. Okay, but listen to it one more time. In fact, water striders only go inland when rain or strong wind forces them off the water. Do you know what inland is, Emily? Yes, ma'am. Okay, so will they ever go on land? Yes, uh, when it's raining or it's blowing really hard wind. Okay, when they're forced that way. Even though they're called water striders, you could possibly find them on land, okay? And next one, um, Josh, answer this one for me. How would you summarize what 
water striders eat? Um, paragraph three, second sentence, uh, well, third sentence. Additionally, uh, it says additionally, because they spend m most of their time on water, water striders feed mostly on inste insects that live near water. <coughs> Let's give both Emily and Josh our cheer. Looking good. Again, if you highlighted that, even if your group didn't make it, you can put you a spider there. Next row, here we go. Bottom row, bottom row. What would happen if water striders lost their vision? You should already have this one answered. And how would you show your understanding that water striders don't sink? Go. Okay. Uh, on this one, it's um, a Oh, this is on paragraph five. Water striders also have very good vision and can move. Yeah, but that doesn't say what would happen. On paragraph Yeah, if water striders would uh, On the stage. Yes. Yeah. 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 It, it says it, it says these traits keep them from becoming prey food or food present. First striders lost their vision. All right, stop. We've got another group. I like how we have different groups finishing. What would happen if water striders lost their vision? Um, Adriana, share with us where you found that answer. In paragraph five, sentence one, it says water striders water striders also have very good vision and can move quickly. Okay, so what would be your answer to the question, what would happen if water striders lost their vision? They wouldn't be able to move very quickly. We're thinking a little deeper though, they lost their vision. This is gonna have a bigger impact on their lives. Okay, let's let um, Ella's group help us out on that. They, they highlighted a different fact and see if this will change your view here. Right here. Well, on the... Um, Paragraph five, the last sentence, it says, these traits help keep from them coming prey, and if they lost their vision, they'd probably become prey because they wouldn't know where they were, and uh, they might come into where the prey is. Very good. Let's go ahead and give her the cheer. Looking good. Does that group see how that answer got changed? You were right. They're not going to be able to move as fast. Okay, but is that the most important fact? No, becoming prey is a lot more important. Okay, all right. And the last one on the right, it says, how would you show your understanding that water striders don't sink? Katie, help me out on that. Where did y'all find your information? Their, their body is only one half an inch long and it's covered with scales that would keep them um, from heavy sinking. Okay, so that's paragraph four. It's a uh, sentence two. Okay, I agree. That kind of shows you they're not going to sink, but I feel like another group got another fact that was just a little bit stronger. You're not wrong. You are not wrong. But let's see if someone can support it a little bit more. Jada, can you share with that with us, please? In paragraph four, the last sentence says, no one leg is heavy enough to sink the insect. Okay, so we know it's not going to sink because not even one of its legs is heavy enough to sink it. All right, I guess you can tell what we have left. The middle, two questions. You may go. Let's see if another group can get it. Okay, can you share with your group what classify means? Classify means like how would you describe? Uh, how would you describe it? Okay, a little more than that. A classification. Okay, think of food. Think of food. Are there different types of food? Okay, name some types of food for me. A sandwich. Okay, fruit, meat. Do you have anything else? Do you have any sugar? Nothing sweet? Not a brownie or anything? A granola bar. Those are classifications. Now, you're looking for a classification, a type. Mm, there's something in the text that's going to help you with that. How would you classify it? Okay. 
Think about like the big word food, and then we broke it into like categories. What category is a water strider going to fit into? Or we need to work on classify over here? Okay, so we put it into categories. I want you to take the word classify and think of a category. I wonder what a water strider, what category would it fall into in this text? It tells you. It tells you what that is. Where did you find that? What did you Let him find it for you. Where did you find that, Graham? What category are we going to put it in? It's in paragraph four. Paragraph four. You're there, bud. Find it. Like all insects, the water strider has six legs. Okay, so that was paragraph four. Right here. Like all insects. Graham, give me five. Okay, I had a group over here. I heard them. This one was a little challenging because we had some vocab. All right, have a seat. Have a seat. I think our board is full. Let's see if we can finish our answers. Classify stumped some people. The word classify, that's some vocab we're going to need to work on. How would you classify a water strider? Um, Shelby, can you tell me where you found that? We found it in paragraph four, sentence three. Okay, will you read it for me? It says, like all insects, the water strider has six legs. So, how would you classify it? It is a what? An insect. It is an insect. We had to work on classify. Okay, classify. And then the last one for the day on questioning is, what information would you use to support the view that water striders spend most of their time on water? Brenna, can you answer that for me? Um... In paragraph three, the first sentence, it, the first two sentences, it says, water striders do more than just walk across the water. They also catch and eat their meals on water as well. Eat and catch their meals on water. And then what was the first sentence? Because I think that does help justify your answer. They do more than just walk on water. Okay, they do more than walk. They do more than walk. Both of them get the cheer. Looking good.